Hi guys, hello ladies, and welcome everyone to another episode of Paul Brooks TV. Specifically, this might be one of the coolest unboxing videos I have ever done. It's the incredibly strange films of Ray Dennis Steckler, this big box set from Severin. And this is something that I have been waiting to get for a while now, and I'm so excited to crack this open, and we're going to do a deep, deep dive into everything included in this box set. So let me get the shrink, the shrink wrap off of this thing, and we will dive in and take a look. I am pleased to report that the shrink wrap is off, and we are ready to get into this thing. So, um, as you see on the front here, get a little bit closer there for you, 20 films on 10 discs, 30 plus hours of special features, plus a 100 page book and more. Uh, this just looks absolutely amazing. Actually, the reason that I picked this up was I watched a uh, sort of unboxing review from just the discs, and I thought the packaging looked just phenomenal. Look at the big spine there. And other side, see the book there at the top. And let's take a look at the back. So, all the films at the top. A low-budget auteur whose surrealistically impossible plots went beyond zombies to display superheroes, rockers, bikini-clad beach girls, and flourishes of what some saw as inspired movie making, says the New York Times. Just to look at everything on the back here. Now I'm going to admit something to everybody. I don't think I have seen any of these films. I don't think I've ever seen a Ray Dennis Steckler film. Really, I was just sold on how uh, beautiful this box set from Severin looked. Um and said, you know what, I'll do, I haven't done a blind buy in a while, I'm going to do it. And I'm really excited to get into all these films. So, let's really get into this thing and really take a look at everything that is included. <clears throat> Set the book to the side for a moment. And here is... Uh, the packaging for all of the discs. Some great art artwork here on the on the front. Filmed in regular scope. And great artwork on the back. Beautiful. Now let's set this down and we'll open it up. Up first is Wild Guitar. And I want to say that I've seen, I've possibly seen this one. If there's any, any of these films that I have seen, it would be this one. Special features, Bud Eagle Rocks, interview with actor Arch Hall Jr. The Incredibly Strange Film Show, Season 1, Episode 2, Ray Dennis Steckler. Master of the Grind interview with Ray Dennis Steckler and a trailer. Wild Guitar, 1962, 90 minutes. Now, I know that some people are not crazy about the uh, this sort of method for packaging discs. And I understand why, because it can be, as you saw right there, a little difficult to remove it from the package. It doesn't really bother me, to be honest. There is a look at the disc for Wild Guitar. And these are all Blu-rays, by the way. Hello. All right. 
wild guitar. I think I'm going to start, you know, just go in order with everything here. Start with wild guitar and just kind of move through the entire collection here. Up next is, I would say, probably his uh, most famous film. Feel free to disagree if you want in the comments, but it's the in uh, Incredibly Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed Up Zombies from 1964. 82 minutes. Special features, we have an introduction by Joe Bob Briggs. Audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Audio commentary with Joe Bob Briggs. Archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler. Archival interview with Carolyn Brandt. Deleted scenes. A VHS trailer. A regular trailer. Teenage Psycho meets Bloody Mary re-release trailer. And Teenage Psycho meets Bloody Mary radio spot. So very much looking forward to that one. Look, is this looking like the disc art is, you know, kind of all the same for each disc? It's just sort of a continuation of the art that is in the uh, book here as well. Very cool. I like this guy's name, Cash Flag. All right, moving on to the Thrill Killers. Special feature is a lot on this one. Audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Audio commentary with Christopher Wayne Curry, author of The Incredibly Strange Features of Ray Dennis Steckler. Confessions of a Thrill Killer interview with actor Gary Kent. Archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler. Q&A at the York Theater in San Francisco. Alternate cut, The Maniacs Are Loose, 77 minutes, which... If you know uh, Joe Bob Briggs, you know that that is the perfect length for a movie. Behind the scenes footage with commentary by Ray Dennis Steckler. The Thrill Killers trailer, The Maniacs Are Loose trailer, The Maniacs Are Loose TV spots and radio spots. 1965, 75, or I'm sorry, 70 minutes. Tight, nice and tight. And I said I was doing a deep dive. We're going to look at all the discs. We're doing it. There you go. Moving on, we have Rat Think a Boo Boo and the Lemon Grove Kids. Shorter, 67 minutes, and then uh, 78 minutes for the Le Lemon Grove Kids. Okay, let's burn through this. Special features, audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Audio commentary with Aaron Obolkin, Webster University Professor of Film Studies. First Lady of Cult interview with actress Carolyn Brandt. Mondo Psychotronic interview with Mondo Movies label and Psychotronic video store owner Bal Croce and Friends, Monster Mags, B-Movies, and Rock and Roll. Filmmaker Don Glute on Ron Haydock and Ray. Original opening footage, color footage of Rat Fink and Boo Boo. Did I say Rat Fink a Boo Boo? Well, I did, because that's what it's called. But this says Rat Fink and Boo Boo. See, this is the disadvantage of never having seen any of these movies. And a trailer. Uh, Lemon Grove Kids audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Archival interview. Tickles Talks interview with daughter Laura Steckler. Text card for live show. Not sure what that is. Footage from unreleased fourth segment. Parade footage. Goof on the Loose short film with optional director commentary. And a trailer. Gosh, there's just, it's amazing how much, you know, effort, time and effort Severin put into compiling all this stuff and just putting all of this together in such a great, beautiful looking package. Up next, 
we have Body Fever and Cynthia the Devil's Doll from 1969 and 1970. 78 minutes and 77 minutes. Special features, audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler, audio commentary with Dark Eyes of London's David Dent, archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler, archival interview with Carolyn Brandt, interview with Ray Dennis Steckler at the York Theater in San Francisco, work print footage from Bloody Jack, an unfinished film started after Body Fever. Cool. Interesting posters there. And a quick look at the disc. Oh, Body Fever is yellow. Oh, same as the poster, yellow. Okay, cool. Very cool. Moving on. Blood Shack. 1971. Just 55 minutes. Audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Alternate cut. The Chooper. I think I've heard of that before somewhere. Uh, introduction by Joe Bob Briggs. Audio commentary with Joe Bob Briggs. Audio commentary with Aaron Abukin. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Aaron. Uh, Webster University professor of film studies. Archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler. Archival interview with Carolyn Brandt. And outtakes. I warned her not to go inside. The Trooper. That's a strange one. Looking, looking forward to uh, a nice, brisk blood shack. I wonder if that was the inspiration for the song Love Shack. Probably not. Okay, what do we got here? The Hollywood Strangler. Uh, oh, meets the Skid Row Slasher, right. And then the Las Vegas serial killer, 1979 and 1986. Looks like Ray is perhaps slowing down a little bit here, which is fine. All right, lots of special features. Um, introduction by Joe Bob Briggs. Audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler. Audio commentary with Joe Bob Briggs. Archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler. Archival interview with Carolyn Brandt by Ray Dennis Steckler, Hollywood Strangler in Las Vegas trailer. Um, for the Las Vegas serial killer, audio commentary with Ray Dennis Steckler, audio commentary with actor Ron Jason, moderated by Severn Films' David Gregory and Vinegar Syndrome's Joe Rubin. I want to say that I've met David uh one time in uh, Los Angeles at like a screening for something. Archival interview with Ray Dennis Steckler, the Las Vegas thrill killer interview with actor Ron Jason. Savage and Steckler interview with actress Glenda Savage and a promo for the unfinished film Las Vegas thrill killer with optional commentary by Ron Jason. See Hollywood Strangler Invades Glitter Gulch. Cool. The disc is exactly what you would expect. Very cool. And now we're getting into some of the... Uh, well, I, it's all strange, but this is, you know, like adults only type stuff. The Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire. Great title. Nazi brothel. Uh-oh. Love Life of Hitler's Nazis. Uh-oh. And Count Alcum. 1970 and 1971. 51 minutes, 55 minutes, 52 and 49 minutes. Uh, not many special features. Steckler locations tour of Los Angeles and Las Vegas with Vinegar Syndrome's Joe Rubin. That's cool, though. Love a good uh, filming location tour. 
So this is perhaps maybe uh, some of his lesser known works or lesser, you know, lesser seen stuff perhaps. But I'll watch it. It's going to take me a while to get through all this, but that's the beauty of it, you know. It takes, uh, it's going to take a while. Okay, <laughs> up next, uh, Dr. Cocklove. The Sexorcist Devil and Red Heat from 1970, 1974, and 1981. 52 minutes, 60 minutes, 81 minutes. Special features over here. Titan of Tees interview with Red Heat star and burlesque legend Lovey Goldmine. Lost Film Productions digest version of Face of Evil and Slashed. Huh. Apparently, there's some shocking sex involved, so be careful with that. Oh, the disc. You know the deal. There you go. And Summer Fun. Reading PA? Is it Reading or Reading? Reading PA? And one more time. Wow, 1997, 2006, and 2008. 61 minutes, 257 minutes, and 66 minutes. What in the world is this all about? Special features. We have an introduction by Elijah Drenner, director of American Grindhouse. Uh, American Grindhouse extended, extended interview with Ray Dennis Steckler. Natasha... Diakova's screen test for one more time. Ray Dennis Steckler talks B-movie filmmaking at Las Vegas High School. Johnny Legend's final interview with Ray Dennis Steckler and behind-the-scenes footage from One More Time. Audio interview with Catherine Steckler. Mascot video by filmmaker Joaquin Montalvan. And a summer fun trailer. Yeah, this is sort of like, um, I'm not sure if it's a documentary or sort of like, hmm, that'll be interesting to check out. I know I'm, I'm trying to figure out why this is 257 minutes, but I'll find out soon enough, a little bit later down the line. And that is everything in the book, which is just a tremendous amount of stuff. I'm going to pause my video for a second, take a quick break, and then we will take a look at everything that is inside of this book right here. So we have this great book included, Ray Dennis Steckler, the incredibly strange filmmaker who stopped living and became a mixed-up legend. This is by Zach Carlson with Charles Devlin. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, there he is. Later on in life. I'm not sure exactly when he died, but I'm, I'm sure I will find out here. I'll try not to, you know, bend the pages too much. Can I see that? There you go. Hollywood land bound. It's going to be interesting to read about his career and I'm always as a filmmaker myself I'm always you know curious to kind of see uh, how other filmmakers got their start and progress throughout their career and I always get a little bit jealous about filmmakers who were doing their thing you know back in in this time period a lot of different type time periods but 
certainly this time period in the 50s and 60s when it just seemed like there was probably a lot less competition. <laughs> so you could kind of go out there and do your thing. Obviously, it was difficult. I mean, you had to shoot everything on film. and In a lot of ways, everything's a lot more, uh, a lot easier today, certainly than it was back then. But that also means that there's a lot more junk out there. So, what are you going to do? Lemon Grove Abubu. And like I said, I, I don't think that I've seen any of his films, but I'm just so uh, curious to get into all this stuff and, you know, see see how much of it I like, see how much of it I don't like. I'm just kind of going into it with uh, with an open mind in terms of what to expect from... Oh, I'm going to skip that page, little nudity... Didn't think about that, gotta be careful. But just, you know, absolutely hats off, kudos to Severin for putting this together. I know that they have, this is kind of like becoming their thing, you know, like just going above and beyond. I can't tell if there's any nudity on that. The Las Vegas grind going above and beyond in terms of their packaging to really just put out an amazing, almost a, you know, it's a collector's item, really, um, in terms of everything that you get in the package. It's just a phenomenal job that they do. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some more of this sort of thing from them because I know that they keep putting out some really great stuff. I got some friends who have some cool stuff that I would like to pick up. And, you know, like I said, just the discs is our, always putting out, uh, always making great videos about stuff like this. And sometimes it piques my interest and I can't help myself. I don't know if you can... Uh, actually read any of this, you know, I suppose I'm shooting it in 4K, so really if you felt like pausing this and reading any of it, you are welcome to suffer through it if you want to. But, you know, I would recommend, um, if you're into this sort of thing, this is a great release to uh, hop on the Severin's website and pick it up yourself. It's really not that pricey either. Again, for the amount of stuff that you get in here. Um, after Afterward, Emperor of the Strip Mall. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really a pretty good deal. And I know that sometimes on the Severn website they have um, some sales and whatnot. So... You can always hop on there and see if you can um, get yourself a deal. I'm sorry that I'm not opening this up all the way. Again, I'm trying to not uh, bend the book too much. Because my hope is that uh, one of these days, years down the line, this is going to be worth some money, maybe? We'll see. But I just thought it'd be fun to do a really long, deep dive on this package. I like watching YouTube videos sometimes myself, you know, that uh, where somebody just does a really deep dive into everything that's included in a box set. So there you go. The incredibly strange films of... Ray Dennis Steckler. Super excited. There's my thumbnail. Super excited to be getting into this and checking out everything 
inside all of the films, everything in the book. Severin, thank you for putting this together. Super, super cool. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time.